Dear digital listeners, prayerful greetings to you all as we celebrate the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time and the World Mission Sunday. It's an important day to thank the Lord for believing in us and for interesting us the mission of sharing God's love and salvation. The command of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, 19 Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you, implies that the invitation to carry out God's work is a full-time responsibility entrusted to all. This is why the Council Fathers of the Second Vatican Council declare that the Church of Christ is missionary in its origin and nature. Hence, the mission which constituted the Church is not reserved for the priest or the religious or to the active missionaries alone, but rather to every Christian. Therefore, this day is a reminder that you and I are missionaries with a message to share, that is to share the message of God's love liberation and eternal salvation. At this juncture, the question might be, how are we to accomplish this mission? The most powerful means of fulfilling this goal is by living a truly Christian life, a life filled with love, mercy, kindness, compassion, prayer, and a forgiving spirit. This is how the early Christians evangelized the world. Their Gentile neighbors used to say, see how these Christians live in love. The Gentile neighbors used to say, see how these Christians love one another. The Christ they recognized and accepted was the Christ who lived in every Christian. Let us be reminded today that the most important mission is not the gospel we preach, but the life that we live. Secondly, prayer is a means of missionary work. Jesus said in John 15, 5, Without me you can do nothing. And in Luke 10, 2, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Therefore, prayer is necessary for anyone who wishes to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior and for everyone who preaches the good news in his life. Pope St. John Paul II stressed the fact that the Holy Spirit would help us to become witnesses of Christ only in an atmosphere of prayer. Since missionaries are weak human beings, and since witnessing to Christ through life is not easy, we need to support them by our prayer always. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us all live our lives with genuine faith and dedication and be good Christian missionaries in our every works and actions, so that we may genuinely proclaim the truth of God to the people of all nations. We have to live our lives worthily and faithfully at all times, and be the beacons of Christ's light in our world today. Let us all therefore dedicate ourselves anew to the Lord, and may the Lord continue to guide us and bless us in every moment and in our every good efforts and endeavors as this Mission Sunday ought to remind us of our calling and mission in life. May God strengthen and empower us to be ever worthy to be in His presence now and always. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.